a roast chicken. Uh, help! Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Made in 1982 under the Golden Harvest banner and Jun Wu Ping's own Peace Film Group, The Miracle Fighter still proves today to be one of Wu Ping's most imaginative and inventive pieces to date. A surreal martial arts comedy that sees Stephen Chow type humour blended with real kung fu. After marrying a woman of Han, Royal Guardsman Cao is attacked by his own men and forced to go on the run. In order to escape, Cao takes a young prince hostage, inadvertently killing him while on the move. Over a decade later, Cao is still in hiding, guilt-ridden and drunk, but has helped bring up an orphan by the name of Xu Geng. At the same time, the powerful evil bat sorcerer is still trying to track Cao down and find the prince. Mistaking Xu Geng for the dead royal, the bat sorcerer kills Cao, but loses Shu in the process. Taking refuge at the home of a crazy old couple of sorcerers, Shu starts to gain some knowledge on their magical powers, and in between their bickering, builds up the skills to face the evil bat sorcerer and take revenge once and for all. Having already impressed as a director with kung fu classics such as Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, Drunken Master, Dance of the Drunk Mantis, The Magnificent Butcher, the Buddhist Fist, Dreadnought, and the incredible Legend of a Fighter, the acclaimed and award-winning Yuan Wu Ping took things to a whole new level with this fantasy kung fu comedy. With shades of Sammo Hung's encounters of a spooky kind and the dead and the deadly, Miracle Fighters is crammed with wild magical showdowns, outstanding choreography and clever editing. Produced by Raymond Choi, the film sees the infamous Yuan clan together once again, with duties both in front of and behind the camera. These include the brilliant Yuan Chung Yan, who stars as the cranky old woman sorcerer, a role he would play time and time again throughout his career and not just in the Miracle Fighters sequels. Yuan Ya Chor, also known as Simon Yuan Jr., stars as the talented Shu Gang, while his brother Brandy Yuan stars as a scene-stealing man-child in an urn, doubling up duties in a second role as a henchman of the Bat Sorcerer along with his brother Yuan Long Chu. Of course, the Bat Sorcerer is played with glee and menace by the wonderful Yuan Shun Yi, who, as always, impresses in another villainous role. And finally, Wu Ping even manages to pay respects to their late father in the form of a haunted piece of art that still enjoys a drink of wine. They are joined by the incredible Lung Gar Yan, who plays the male variation of Yuan Chung Yan's crazy character. Of course, Lung had joined forces with the Yuan clan the year before in the highly entertaining Dreadnought, soon followed by the awesome Legend of a Fighter and the Postman Fights Back, with the latter two coming out the same year as this. The prolific and fantastic Eddie Ko stars as Cao, the royal guard made to be the bad guy, and once again, highly impresses with his kung fu and is a joy to watch as always. The highly recognisable Wong Ha appears as the character of the Rainmaker, and kung fu actors Tina Wong, Chu Kong, Wong Wai Feng, Lam Mun Wa, and Shaw Brothers star Lao Feng Sai also show up throughout. <laughs> Made in a period where most Hong Kong stars and filmmakers were about to step away from the traditional kung fu genre, with Jackie Chan giving us Dragon Lord before moving on to Project A, Sammo Hung delivering Carry On Pickpocket while preparing Winners and Sinners among others, and the likes of Aces Go Places, Don't Play With Fire, Security Unlimited, Sioux Warriors, and many others coming to light, the Miracle Fighters still won over enough of a fan base 
to encourage Yoon Woo Ping and his brothers to deliver the first sequel just a year later with Shaolin Drunkard, known as Miracle Fighters 2 to some, which would see Wu Ping return as director and the Yoon clan co-star and choreograph once again. 1984 would see the second sequel, Taoism Drunkard, sometimes known as Miracle Fighters 3, follow soon after. This time with Yoon Chung Yan directing, as well as reprising his wild granny role and the Yoon clan choreographing and starring yet again. Oddly, this would be produced by none other than Lo Wei, who would also deliver the third sequel of the series that same year, called The Young Taoism Fighter. While Jackie Chan regular Chen Chi Hua directs, Yun Yat Chor and Yen Chi Quan would return to star, while the Yun clan would handle the fight action one more time. While it would be at least four years before another sequel of sorts would appear, this time from Taiwan under the name of New Miracle Fighters, the only directorial effort of actor Robert Kwon Hung, it would take Yu Mu Ping until 2017 before he would return to the original film with his self-directed reinvention, The Thousand Faces of Dun Jai, a CGI heavy fantasy written and produced by Choi Hark. Unfortunately, the film failed to light up the box office or leave the same lasting impression as the original did, proving that even a big-budgeted, effects-filled modern-day production such as this was no match for the originality, creative genius and talents of Yoon Wu Ping and his brothers in what they had given us over 40 years ago.